Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Budgeting Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kincellic, and recently I mentioned that we released Movie Magic Budgeting 7.1, which is a free update to registered users of Movie Magic Budgeting 7. One of the enhancements that are included in the update is the ability to include contractual charges within implied credit. Now this is great for situations where you've got a contractual charge in your budget and you want to include that in applied credit so that when the contractual charge gets updated, the applied credit gets updated. It's very easy to set up and let me show you how to do that. Okay, so I've got my budget open and I've already created a uh, applied credit down here at the bottom. And you can see that below the grand total and above the, above the net total. And what I want to do is I want to quickly create a contractual charge. What most budgets do is they create one as a contingency. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this last line and select insert contractual charge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create just a simple contractual charge. Let's say it's a bond fee. And we're going to have that be a percentage of the budget. It's 3% of the budget. And I'm just going to assign it an account number. It's not 100% necessary, but it's always good to assign an account number. So I'm going to put 99-00. And there's more stuff you can do here. Include Exclude amounts, exclude groups. I'm going to go ahead and just have this be a simple 3% of the budget for the use of this example. I'm going to click OK. So I've created my contractual charge down here, this bond fee of 3%, which equals $907,000 and change. And now what I want to do is include this in the tax credit. So all I have to do is with that bond fee selected, with that line selected, I just have to go up to Tools, View Include Applied Credit, and select the credit that I want to apply to. Right now I only have one, but if you have, if you have multiple states or multiple, multiple locations that you have credits, different credits applied to, you can select the appropriate one. So I'm going to sele select my one credit that I have and close the window. And if I go back into that uh, applied credit by double clicking the line, you can see here it includes the line bond fee. Now all I have to do is apply a percentage to it. What percentage am I going to get back? Let's say I get 10% back uh, according to this locale. So that's going to be $90,000 and change. And I click OK and it's updated the tax credit. So I've got my contractual charge set up and I've got it included in my applied credit. So that's how easy it is to set up. Now, the beauty of this is if you update your budget, everything gets updated automatically. We've got the 907,000 here and change and the 1,738,000 and change here. Let's say you have to update your budget. You've got more shoot days. It's a common thing. So we go up to Setup, Globals, and let's go and find our shoot days. Let's say we got some extra shoot days. Right now we're at 52 shoot days. I'm going to go ahead and up that to 56. We got four more shoot days. So once I hit enter and close this uh, setup globals window, it's going to update the entire budget, including the bond fee, which as you can see increased, which then in turn increased the state tax credit. So it's a great way to make sure that your budget gets updated automatically. Now, if when you close that um, globals window, everything didn't update immediately, you may have to recalculate your budget. And we've actually added this uh, recalculate button into the main toolbar to make it easier. So just click the recalculate button and it'll go through and recalculate your budget and make sure everything's up to date. So hopefully that makes the applied credit even more useful for your budgets. Now, is there a topic that you want covered in these tips and tricks or do you just have some feedback for us? You can send that to productfeedback at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all our products and services. And while you're there, stop by the community section where you can find ways to follow us on Twitter, friend us on Facebook, or subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.